this course, we're going to teach you how to make the little ACD2 robot dance. There are a lot of neat things that she can do. Look at this here. You can see how each leg has two servo motors. It can move this way, or the little feet can move up and down like that. And then the eyes are actually little transducers that send out ultrasound pulses from one eye, and then the other eye receives it back, and it can measure distance. So it's pretty functional, and it even has speakers built into it that can work like a Bluetooth speaker. So there are a lot of neat things that this robot can do, and we're going to be using some coding technology with blocks to be able to control it. I want to show you this screen here. This is the first screen you'll probably see, and this is where you connect the robot. Now, if you have a robot, then we'll hit this green button and connect. But if you don't, you can actually do most of the stuff that we're going to learn in this course without a robot. You just hit this skip and continue with no robot. And there's a little simulator that'll show you uh, what the robot would do if you had one. In this case, we're going to turn it on. You look on the back here, there's a little power switch. We're going to flip that on. Let her come up here. Okay, it's ready. So I'm going to hit connect to ACD2. And you want to hold it close to your screen so it's able to find the robot and connect. And once it's connected, you can put it back a little ways away. All right, so we're all connected. You can see how the little smile changed right when it connected and we're ready to go. And we have our workspace. This is where we're going to put the blocks that we're going to use. And in order for them to actually run, we have to connect them to this win run block. So let's pull something out here. Let's see. Here we go, an expression block. And see how it snaps in? If we didn't actually connect it, then it's grayed out. That means that even though it's there, it's not going to do anything. So it's really important if you want the block to run, it needs to be all the way connected like that. All right, now let's go ahead and choose something here. Let's see, how about the robot face? Now, I want you to watch the expression on ACD2 really carefully because this is going to happen really fast. I'm going to hit the run button up here and watch. There we go. We ran the program. It changed the robot's face, but then the program got over and it went back to the normal smile. So, uh, in this case, the program was really, really short. Now, we can do things to make the program longer and to make more happen. Uh, if you look in this other toolbox category, we have something called a loop. And a loop will run the same code over and over and over again, so you can do it multiple times. So if we put this expression in here, it'll turn on the robot, but then it'll stay the robot, stay the robot, stay the robot, stay the robot. So instead, I'm going to pull another block in. Let's see, let's do beaming. There we go. So now it's going to show the robot and then beaming and robot and beaming, right? Let's see. Let's run it. How about six times? All right. So then I'm going to hit this run button up here. You see robot beaming, robot beaming. <laughs> there we go. And it's going to do that six times until it's all the way done. There we go. Hey, we did it. So this is an example of a really simple program because we're just using a few blocks. And you'll notice how in here we also have a sound block. This block does nothing more than play a sound. So let's pull these out here. Let's run it, how about two times, so we don't get tired of the sound, right? <laughs> here we go. That's once. There's twice. OK, so this is an example of a really simple program. Programs don't have to be complicated. It can be really easy to do like this. There are a couple other things I want to show you. Up here we have the run button, of course, where you start the program. And then there's another button here that changes the speed. You can actually slow your program down so you have more time to see what's happening. Then we have a button that will show the instructions again in case you need to refer back to what you need to do. So I want you to try a few drills like this where you get to write a program that the robot does. And then after those drills, I'm going to give you some problems to assess your understanding. And these won't actually run the program. They'll just have a submit answer button. Okay? So try this out. I think you're going to have a lot of fun.